Hello, this is Love and Life Girl 95 with the second part of The Sims 2 tutorial. And now it's the editing proportion. And we're editing Sony Vegas number 8. And I recommend getting Sony Vegas 7, 8, or 9 because it's better than Windows Movie Maker and you can make HD movies. Okay, so now let's open up that green screen clip that we took in the video before with the girl in front of the green screen. And let's go to the video effects and select Sony Chroma Keyer. And this is the thing you use for green screening, and it's automatically in there. Now we have to select the color we want to take out with the little egg dropper tool. So we selected the green because we don't want that in there. Now let's put on show mask only because that'll help us see the, like, fix her more and make sure that we have the colors right because we don't want her to be transparent. So if we select that, we want the thing that we want to see all white and the thing that we don't want to see all black. So in this case, we want the girl to be all white and the background to be all black. So right now, we got to mess around with the thresholds a little bit to get exactly what we want. And be patient at this part because we don't want it to look bad, obviously. So there, that looks good. Now we have to hit blur a little bit cleaner because if you have no blur on and if you have a background behind her and you turn off the um, mask, you'll see that it looks a little bit choppy around the edges and not very clean. So if you turn on the blur, it'll look nice. But you can't have too much blur because then she starts to become transparent as she was before and we don't want her to be transparent. And sometimes that could come in handy for like ghost movies and stuff, but for now we don't want that. So let's just turn the blur on a little bit and we're done with the green screen part. And okay, now we want to choose a good background for green screen because you never want one that doesn't match. This one is too bright and it doesn't look good with her. It's a nice background though, but okay, this one is too black. It just is too goth for her, um, even though it's a nice background. So now let's try this one. And I, very, I really like this background, but... Um, the problem with it is that some of the colors don't really match, so it makes her um, sink into it. It's hard to explain, but I just don't like the colors that is used with this background, even though it's a nice background. And um, as you can see, it's just not really going with her. So let's try the last background I have. And as I've said, getting a good background is a really big key part of making movies, or at least when you green screen. So let's try this one. Ooh, this one looks nice. The Howister Co. background. And let's make sure the crop is right, so the size of it is right. And I think it's good. So now let's actually make this um, like all at the same size. So first, let's talk about the sounds. The background music should be pretty low, but still where you could hear it. And um, the voiceover, which is by me, it's just a little test voiceover. And we have to make sure that's at the right sound too because you don't want it too low, but you don't want it too high. And because I say subscribe in the thing, I have a little thing that says subscribe with a cool effect. And yeah, so let's add in some cool little effects that'll make it interesting to watch. And now let's, as I've said, make everything the same sizes. And now let's actually make it HD. So you go to file and you go down to properties and you select for template you select HDV 720 by 30 not 30 pixels which is P and um, that'll actually make YouTube recognize that it's high def so okay and now let's get rid of the backgrounds that we don't need and let's change the template to 30p as we did before but when we're rendering it so you hit render change the template go to custom you change it to best quality you go down to the video tab and make it from 90 for smoothness 90 to 100. now let's watch let's render it and watch the clip hey guys it's love and life girl 95. please subscribe looks nice doesn't it yes it's very short but this was just a little example so um and once it's done up like once you're done uploading it to youtube and it's when it's fully done uploading 
um, it should be HD, which is amazing. <laughs> and I just figured out how to do HD. So now I bet you're wondering, well, where am I going to find all my voice actors for my series? Here's just some of the ones that I like. I'll have more listed in the sidebar, so check out the sidebar. May 1995, XOXO Ashley, Love and Life Girl 95, which is me, Peter W. Dawson, Hevek Rielke, Anthro Crane, and Love and Life Every Day. Those are some really good voice actors, and there will be, as I said, more in the sidebar. And thanks for watching this tutorial, and I really hope it helped, and please subscribe. Bye!